Hello viewer, welcome to our YouTube channel, Wanderer Insights. Today, we bring you another insightful video where we dive into the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, by Mark Manson. This best-selling self-help book offers a refreshing perspective on life, highlighting counterintuitive principles that can lead us to a more fulfilling and authentic existence. So, let's embark on this transformative journey together. In Chapter 1, Manson introduces the idea of the feedback loop from hell, where we constantly seek external validation. He emphasizes that life is full of challenges and not all problems can be solved, so it's essential to choose what truly matters. An example of this is the story of Charles Bukowski, the famous poet, whose rejections fueled his determination to write. Manson discusses the importance of embracing life's struggles and embracing adversity in Chapter 2. He highlights the story of the musician, Julian Cash, who found his passion after surviving a near-death experience. This chapter emphasizes the power of choosing where to invest our time and energy. In the next chapter, the author delves into existential questions and the concept of finding purpose. He shares the story of his friend, Pete, who initially pursued money and success but found genuine happiness in helping others. The lesson here is to focus on contributing positively to the world rather than obsessing over personal gain. In Chapter 4, Manson challenges the idea that positive thinking is the solution to everything. He uses the story of Buddha to illustrate the value of embracing suffering and discomfort to achieve personal growth. In next chapter, he emphasizes the power of responsibility and accountability. Manson discusses the story of Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor who found meaning even in the most dire circumstances. The key lesson is that we always have a choice in how we respond to life's challenges. In last chapter of his book, Manson explains the significance of setting healthy boundaries by sharing the story of his college experience and how he learned to say, no. He encourages us to prioritize what aligns with our values and say, no, to things that drain our energy. To conclude, the key takeaways from the book, remember, it's about focusing on what truly matters, embracing challenges, and taking responsibility for our lives. By learning to prioritize, say, no, when needed, and choose our battles wisely, we can lead a more fulfilling and authentic life. So, what do you think? Are you ready to master the subtle art of not giving AF asterisk CK and live a more meaningful life? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more book summaries and insightful content. Thanks for watching.